doesn't say it won't say that. Today, in the presence of God and loved ones, we celebrate one of life's greatest gifts, to give recognition to the worth and beauty of love, and to add our best wishes and blessings to the marriage of Mark and Carrie. True love is a choice. It is a willing obligation of both to give. May this marriage be adorned by love that is true and enduring. Who gives this woman to this man in marriage? With love and pride, her mother and I. Let's pray. Dear God, I ask that as we come together today, that you would bring blessings upon Mark and Carrie. Lord, that as we gather here together, that we would just enjoy this, this blessing that you would pour out upon them as they dedicate themselves to each other in love and in marriage. In Jesus' name, amen. To this moment, you bring the fullness of your hearts as a treasure to share with one another. You bring dreams which bind you together. You bring your personalities and spirits out of which will flow the reality of your lives together. And we rejoice with you now as you express the outward symbol of your inward love for one another. It is a union that has already been created by friendship, by respect, and by love. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 says, Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not rude or proud. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable and it keeps no record of being wrong. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. Three things will last forever. Faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. Just as two threads woven together will form a beautiful tapestry, so you too, your lives can mingle together to form a beautiful marriage. To make your relationship work will take love. This is the core of your marriage and why you are here today. It will take trust. To know in your hearts that you truly want the best for each other. It will take dedication. To stay open to one another 
and to learn to grow together. It will take faith to go forward together without knowing exactly what the future brings. And it will take commitment to hold true to the journey you both pledged today to share together. Just as a ring has no beginning and no end, it represents the unbroken circle of love between Mark and Carrie. May these rings always be a reminder of your commitment to one another. Carrie, I wrote these this morning. Knowing God is all there is, and no matter what name it was given, I know God is in and as us. I know God is in everything we do. When I see you and I see you smile, I know that's spirit and love. When I hold you, I feel life. That spirit experiencing. When you enter the room, my world becomes brighter, and that spirit smiling. The essence of our love, entangled, brightens everything we touch. Mirrors of life reflecting shows our love dancing in the moonlight. That spirit's rejoicing. All of this because you accept my love and you send it back a hundredfold. That spirit knowing. Knowing all this to be true, I offer myself to you as my companion, as your companion, as your friend, as your lover, and as your husband. I thank God for this holy communion with you. And with that, my love is yours. Mark, we became friends before <clears throat> we had the thought of ever becoming lovers. I still remember the first time we blazed into each other's eyes. The stark blue eyes which told and showed me you are the one that could give me your unconditional love along with accepting my, <laughs> my unconditional love. You are and always be, will be my best friend, whether it be smooth sailing or rough riding. I am here to, here to encourage and laugh with you and at the same time to be with you to comfort you at times of sorrow. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, and I dare to dream again. I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together in all that life has planned for us. Our love has given us wings. Let's let our journey in, begin today. Mark, I love you today and always. Do you, Mark, take this woman, Carrie, as your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do with this ring of you live. Do you, Carrie, take this man, Mark, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish from this day forward for as long as you both shall live. I do, and with this ring, I hear thee well. 